Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Okay, guys, so talking about grip today, um, build up grip, what should you do? When I was a kid, all I do is just stack over grip on top of over grip on top of over grip. Um, mm, what to do now, though? Stay tuned. All right, so this um, actually is a viewer question from Barry in Fife, Washington. Hey, thanks for creating Tennis Spin. Uh, wonderfully entertaining. Always enjoy your content and insight on all things tennis. Also, think it's fantastic you're supporting your local coaches, Chris, uh, Andrew, and Rob. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Wondering if you could do a segment on grip resizing. I am one of those old school guys that use four and five eighths and yeah, getting hard to find these grips these days. Yeah, I was, I was talking about that, right? Four and five eighths, uh, in a lot of rackets have been extinct. Uh, there's only a few left that even are making four and five eighths. So he goes on to say, I'm current, I currently play with the older E zone. Yonex E-Zone 100 Lime Green. I have two, uh, four and three eighths and four and a half that I just built up with overgrip, which makes them very head light. I was talking to the guy that strings, strings for me and asked about the heat shrink sleeves. Assuming I would need two, uh, two shrink sleeves on the three eighths and wondered if weight wise it would be less and more stable than over grips. Um, best regards, Barry. Great question. So here's the thing, here's the thing. Um, these things will build it up one grip size. And if you use one, I think the bevels will be more defined than stacking over grips. Uh, as the more over grips you go, the rounder they get. They still do with this though. Don't get it wrong, because this will still round off those bevels. Um, but, but there's a weight difference in the two. And let, let me show you this weight difference. And this will definitely make it feel like your rackets are going to be misbalanced or head uh, lighter. Let me show you something here. I got my scale out. So we're talking, Barry is saying that he's a three eighths and he needs two of these, right? Two of these versus let's say four of those. These are over grip. Obviously I'm not going to use this whole shrink wrap. Obviously I'm not going to use um, the full amount of these over grips, at least if you do it the way I do it. Um, so, but let's check something out though. Let's check something out. Let's see what I should, a heat shrink um, weighs because you're going to be putting two of these on your racket. It's 24 grams for one of those. So if you stack two, right, it's 49. Obviously, it's not perfectly accurate in the weighting on both of them. So, um, so you're adding, let's say, half an ounce to your racket here by putting two of these on. Now let's over grip 13 on two, but that's only going to equal one. So you'll be adding um, weight. This definitely weighs more, definitely weighs more um, as you can see right here. Um, so therefore, if you use two of these and then throw your replacement grip back on, it's going to feel head lighter. Um, so what, or you could put four of these on there <laughs> or maybe three of them, depending on how you wrap them. Either way, though, they're going to be round. It's going to make those bevels less defined um, and round off that grip. I mean, when I was a, when I was in high school, I mean, all I ever did was wrap one over another over another. I mean, sometimes I had three or four uh, overgrips on my racket. I mean, I just kind of got used to it. 
Um, obviously, when I was in high school, I didn't understand any of this, and I just played, uh, you know, as it was. But also back then, you have to think about all those rackets were head heavy back then. I mean, they were like like hammers, you know, so they were head heavy to start. So by increasing the grip, you basically made it a little head lighter and more manageable. Uh, with the modern rackets, let's say like your Yonex, you'll definitely get more head speed by doing this. So um, I would say maybe do one shrink sleeve and a couple over grips, kind of balance it out. Um, do both of these together and see where we lay. We still lay at about 36. Uh, so got, there's somewhere in between, maybe one shrink sleeve and one over grip and you're at 30, but either way, it will rebalance. It will rebalance the racket um, when you add anything to the handle. So you might want to just add some lead back to the top to get it to where you like it. So Barry, thank you for the question. Um, hopefully I gave you a little insight on uh, what to do uh, with your future racket. All right. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.